The secret weapon Adolf Hitler was working on was this. Why did it go black? Because they finally figured out how to master it and they didn't need to have more people joining in. So they wanted to sh close off that discussion. This is, this is how the spy masters operate. Now, when they began to discover, and I want to put this into three categories. You have assets that are material, stagecraft, and I, let's call these advanced aircraft of man-made origin, all right? And I'm going to show you some tonight, and it will blow your mind, and it should, but are, you know, things like this. Man-made, anti-gravity, going all the way back to the late 50s and 60s. Triangular, disc, boomerang, etc. What you need to understand is, the gentleman I refer to and, and, and other people have confirmed of this time period to me, that around nine, October 1954, we attained gravity control. So gravity control meaning uh, electromagnetic systems that affect uh, an object so it becomes seemingly weightless, levitates, and, co and, and co corrects for gravity. And others were using very high voltage, high frequency systems at certain hertz, cycles per second, that would cause a change in the atomic structure and the magnetic field in such a way that you could essentially cancel mass. Okay, so without boring people with a physics lesson, if you make something close to massless, no weight, but weight is different from mass, massless, then you can accelerate it at enormous speeds with very little power. And it can go right-hand turns, go up and down, and if you can control for the interior at 1G, in other words, one gravitational field, then you can go at 100,000 miles per hour, make a right-hand turn, and your brains don't come out of your ears. The secret weapon that we had was the atomic bomb. The secret weapon Adolf Hitler was working on was this. Why did it go black? Because they finally figured out how to master it, and they didn't need to have more people joining in. So they wanted to sh close off that discussion. So in October 1954, gravity control was mastered and we began to build various prototypes of what the public would call UFOs. And some were made to simulate the shape, appearance, and uh, motion of an extraterrestrial vehicle. Because what better way to confuse people than to have something that looks almost the same. Is it gold? Is it fool's gold? Is it real? Is it Memorex? Get where I'm going here? This is, this is how the spy masters operate. So I call those the, the assets that are material, physical craft. Now that's one category, we'll return to this. There's another category, and this is more difficult to understand, and that is electromagnetic assets. And these include electromagnetic systems that could optically, like a very advanced hologram, simulate an event. Electromagnetic systems that have been called popularly electronic warfare systems that are psychotronic and radionic that interface with consciousness and thought. And electromagnetic systems that can affect large segments of the population when targeted. Now these began to be developed quite uh, in, in an advanced fashion but by the 40s and 50s. And by 1956, uh, it had been accomplished to the point of state of the art. And then the other asset, the third category, is human human intelligence, human assets. And these are folks who, some wittingly, some unwittingly, have been 
provided with a script and experiences that they honestly believe are real, but that have been programmed and are like very advanced consciousness holographic experiences, if you will, electronic hallucinations.